There's two very polarizing opinions on dropshipping. Some people say it's oversaturated while other people swear by it. But let me tell you that in 2020, the global dropshipping market size reached $128 billion. That's a lot. But guess how much it's actually projected to reach in 2026? $476 billion. Insane, absolutely insane. So you know what that means for you? That means that you are just as capable as anyone else to claim your piece of the $476 billion pie. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna learn what dropshipping is, how to start dropshipping with AliExpress and Shopify. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you in on what are the hot products to dropship in 2023. This is the ultimate beginner's guide for dropshipping in 2023. So buckle in and let's do it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle Bally. I'm a creative strategist and I'm your host for today's video. Now this channel that you're on, this channel right here is called Learn with Shopify. It's gonna give you all the information that you need in order to start, run and grow an online business. If you like dropshipping, if you like this channel, if you like making lots of money, then hit subscribe. And guys, do me a favor, please hit that like button because it really does help keep this channel alive. Okay, let's get into it. What is dropshipping? So dropshipping is a low risk, low cost way of running an e-commerce business. Let me explain. Let's say you wanted to open up an online store. One route that you can go is go to a manufacturer, get a custom product made, pay a bunch of money for inventory and keep that inventory maybe in your basement somewhere. And then you open up an online store and then you ship orders from your house. That's one route, right? Another route is you can go to the dropshipping method. With this method, instead of creating a product from scratch, you work with a supplier to choose products that they already have in stock, and you just simply make them available on your store. So to do that, the first step, you would make an e-commerce store, you would link your supplier's products on your own store, then you would advertise your products through ads and social media, and then you would start getting orders. Once a customer places an order from you, it's the dropshipper that gets notified. So the dropshipper will get your customer's orders ready in their warehouse, ship it out, and let your customers know that their products are on the way. So essentially, the dropshipper is responsible for sourcing the product, fulfilling the order, and shipping it out to your customers. That first method we talked about, you're responsible for literally everything end to end, but with dropshipping, all you're responsible is making sure that A, you've chosen a good product in the first place, B, advertising your products, and also dealing with customer service and the operations of your e-commerce store. So now you're probably wondering, well, why wouldn't everyone just go the dropshipping method if it's so easy? So there are pros and there are cons to both. The cons of dropshipping, you have less quality control over your products, that's because your suppliers are the ones who are doing the quality control on each product and package before it goes out. Another con is that you may have a hard time selling a product that is truly innovative and that no one else has because your supplier likely has other clients that they're selling to, whether it's the same or similar products, and that also means more competition. All right, so let's move on to the pros of dropshipping. So first of all, you can get your e-commerce site set up really quickly within a few clicks, which is amazing. Another thing I love is that you can easily test products and suppliers with no commitment. Also, dropshipping means less work for you because you're not gonna have to ship every order. And it also means less risk because you're not gonna need to pay any money upfront in inventory. You're only gonna need to pay for the cost of products as the orders come in in real time. Another thing is that you don't have to hold any inventory, which means you're not gonna have a million boxes in your living room, which is great. So this next one can be a pro or a con, and that is you're only as good as your supplier. So let's say they're amazing and they're on time with every order, then you're good. But if they're experiencing delays and half the products they ship are broken, then it's actually your business that's gonna suffer. How to drop ship. Here's how to get started with drop shipping in 2023 in seven steps. So first step, do research on your dropshipping business idea. You're gonna do research on a niche you're interested in and find out how profitable it can be. So here are some tools to get you started with that. Google Trends, guys. Google Trends can help you determine if a product is trending upward or downward. Deezers, guys. Deezers order volume will let you search for products based on order volume to see how in demand your business idea is. Use a competitor spy tool, something like Similar Web. It's gonna allow you to go on your competitors' websites and see how much traffic they have and who their competitors are. So step number two is to choose a dropshipping supplier. 
So at this point, you've vetted what products are profitable. Now you wanna make sure that you find a drop shipping supplier that is gonna give you high quality service in order to grow. Like I said, your drop shipping business is literally as only as good as your supplier. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this right because this step is really important. All right, so let's head over to AliExpress. So AliExpress is one of the most popular marketplaces for new and experienced dropshippers. It's gonna allow you to easily find any type of product from fashion to toys. And with AliExpress, you have access to tons of dropshipping suppliers from all over the world. AliExpress is known for their inexpensive products, which is great news for you because as a reseller, you'll be able to mark up the price and sell it to your end consumer to be able to make a profit. Choosing to dropship from AliExpress means there's no upfront costs or fees, so you can test out products in your store without any financial commitment. So if you wanna be able to add AliExpress products to your Shopify store in one click, you're just gonna download a Shopify app called Deezers. This app is free and integrates easily with your Shopify store. After you download this app, you're gonna to wanna to vet suppliers based on their product quality and shipping time and their reviews. I would recommend that you order some products before you actually sell them to be able to get a better feel for the product quality and their shipping time. So the next step is you're gonna build your e-commerce store, right? You've got your products, you've got your suppliers. Now you need to build your e-commerce store. Your e-commerce store is where you're gonna send your traffic, you're gonna sell those products and process payments. Now, I'm 100% certain that I'm being biased when I say this. <laughs> but Shopify is the best place to build an e-commerce store hands down. Even when I'm not on a Shopify YouTube channel, I recommend it to my clients that are just starting out because A, it's inexpensive, B, it's easy to use, and there's a million apps that you can choose from. So I personally just think it's the best. I would recommend you start with a free trial. I will link that for you guys in the description. And then once you have that, start with a free theme. After that, you're gonna choose a domain, you're gonna give your store a name, and then you're gonna download that Deezers app that I was telling you about. I would also add in some apps like One Click Upsell and Klaviyo just to start, but basically that's an overview. If you wanna learn how to set up a Shopify store from scratch, then check out this video right here. That's gonna get you sorted. Also guys, we offer a totally free e-commerce course that's designed to help you get your store up and running very quickly. Even if you have a low budget or you're a total beginner, uh, this course is gonna be perfect. So if that's something that you are interested, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box below as well. And all you have to do is sign up with your email and you're gonna have full access. So I'll leave that for you guys in the description box. So the next step is to market your dropshipping store. Now with so many things about dropshipping being automated, you can spend time focusing on marketing and promoting your business. A good marketing strategy is gonna set you apart from all that competition in dropshipping, and it's gonna help you make sales. So here's how to advertise your dropshipping business. All right, number one, run paid Facebook and Google ads. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't really have money for ads, but think of it this way, spend the money on ads that you would have otherwise spent on inventory. The reason is because Facebook ads are scalable and if you have a really good ad specialist that knows what they're doing, ads can be that key that helps blast your business to the moon. Number two, get into influencer marketing. As a new dropshipper, you may have a limited budget to market your business, right? Influencer marketing can be an affordable way to reach your target audience because people tend to trust influencers more than traditional advertising. So if you go this route, keep in mind that this is a strategy that works most at scale. Number three, start content marketing. Write blog posts, film YouTube videos, or get your products featured on podcasts. My tip here is make sure that there is a call to action. I actually have a client that gets thousands of views on this one blog post, but he forgot to put in a call to action, so he didn't sell any products. So make sure that you're using up to 30% of your content marketing to sell products. You guys are interested to hear what the drop shipping products are of 2023. So here is a rapid fire of some of the best products to sell. Now we're gonna be shouting out some other creators here on YouTube. And if there's anything that catches your eye from this list, make sure that you're heading over to their channel to check out their thoughts in full. So according to Tan, he's a drop shipping expert here on YouTube. Some of his top picks for 2023 are, first of all, a digital measuring spoon, heated gloves to keep your hands warm in the winter, a windshield defogger, a Dyson Air Wrap or knockoff or a bootleg version, whatever you wanna call it, and that's his list. Now, according to AC Hampton here on YouTube, some of his favorite products to sell in 2023 are a back and body shaver for men, very useful, a portable stool, it's really giving waiting in line for a supreme drop, if you know what I mean, a desktop support wrist pad, and a menstrual relief pad, 
and those are his picks. So if you liked either of those YouTubers picks, make sure that you head over to their channels because I'm gonna link those videos for you guys in the description box. If you wanna start your dropshipping empire, you could actually start your store right now for free. Shopify offers a free trial for three days, no credit card required, so I will leave that link for you guys right over here. What niche are you guys planning to tackle? And if you're brave enough, tell me what product you're gonna sell. I wanna hear it. Leave that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Loved hanging out with you. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because we are a channel that helps you start, run, and grow an online business. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.